this is Candy from eyes2jesus.blogspot.com and I wanted to show you my Franklin Covey Giada. Now if you saw my uh, short flu vlogs from earlier this month, then uh, two of them I showcased my Giada. I am enjoying this Franklin Covey Giada uh, binder for my planner. Um, I got this from Franklin, franklinplanner.com. I got it when it was on sale uh, for a New Year's sale. Wow, what a discount. I have been wanting a Giada for a few years, but it's just too high of a price point. But when that sale came, I had to get it. It was a very good deal. So this one is the one they call the color Peach Crush. And I think it's more of a pink. Um, it's a bit of a peachy pink, but I think it's more of a pink, which is I actually wanted a pink Giada. And the closest I could find was Peach Crush. And when I got it and saw how pink it was, I was very happy. So, yes, this is a, a classic size planner, so it fits half sheets of U.S. size paper. It's a beautiful seven ring planner. I would highly suggest the Giada. Now, the older Giadas came with small three-quarter inch rings. These Giadas come with nice roomy inch and a quarter rings, which is fabulous. So I'm just going to give you a little planner tour and planner setup. Um, I have, from my birthday shopping, my birthday coupon is spent on Franklin Covey. My goodies will be uh, coming in the mail probably next week. Uh, they finally have been shipped, so that'll be great. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you uh, what's in my Giada. Um, because I might be moving into a different binder cover next week. Uh, you got your two pen loops, front and back. Alright, um, I got a side pocket here. I just keep some stickers in there. Alright, you got a secretarial here. I got some more stickers there and I hold them together with this cute paper clip that pokes up. Uh, we got several uh, card slots. This top card slot, I just got some Avery labels, Avery dots, whole reinforcement stickers. This next card slot, this is a credit card multi-tool I got from Half Price Books. So it's got like little ruler and screwdrivers and wrenches on it, etc. And uh, what, what a perfect place to keep it in the planner. And then these rest of these slots, I just have this uh, Target Dollar Spot notepad over it so that uh, if I want to grab a notepad and I don't want to grab it from my dashboard or I want something right here there we go and then I just got a trimmed down project life card here in this window inside the zipper pocket sometimes I keep planner money and a few uh, blank checks just in case uh, right now it's empty <laughs> as I spent my planner money alright now this is actually a Franklin Covey photo sleeve so it's made so you can fit photographs in it. This is kind of working as a semi-front dashboard. It's got a, it's got a thick edge to it and it seems to work pretty good. This part up here is covered. This is um, a Project Life card. Hello, my name is. And it's got my name and my contact information should this planner ever get lost along with my husband's name and his contact information. And then this Project Life card down here, I have my word of the year for 2017 which is consistency. All right, and on the other side, I thought this is a great place to be uh, sticking in some uh, journaling cards. So you know me, I like the Cultivating a Good Life set from uh, Project Life. So this one says, part of cultivating a good life is taking time to step back and really assess what needs to change in a situation or even in your life. And this one down here says, part of cultivating a good life is... Ah, oh, that's hard to read, upside down, is focusing on what you have instead of on what you don't. All right, and I like to change these out every once in a while because so many of the Cultivating Good Life cards are so great. All right, and then we have my official welcome page. I have, I think this is a Happy Planner journaling card. It says, Wake Up and Chase Your Dreams, and we got our current family picture. And this is in a um, top-loading a page protector, do the Franklin Covey or day timer, and then I have a heart paper clip on the top to keep the top closed. That way I can change out the photo whenever I want, I can change out the journaling card, etc. And then on the other side, we got, of course, my husband's and I photo. Uh, journaling card says totally and completely in love. In November this year will be our 20th wedding anniversary. That is going to be so much fun. Uh, my dashboard that I made with laminated scrapbook paper. Um, got some Target Dollar Spot notepads on here that I got on my birthday haul. And then there's also some uh, Happy Planner and Erin Condren stickies. And on the back I got um, my to-do lists 
97 cents from Walmart. I always have these around. And then I got uh, my grocery list paper here. Okay, and then my first divider, homemaking. And this is my Guide the House scriptures. Um, I have had these off and on in my planners for the past few years. Uh, these are all in the King James. I got, um, let me turn this look here. So I got 1 Timothy 5.14, Titus 2, 4-5, Proverbs 31, 26-28, 1 Timothy 2, 9-10, 1 Corinthians 11, 3-6, Proverbs 29, 15, and Colossians 3, 18 through 20. And then I go on site here, and this is my master schedule for the children and I of our typical day, or what we'd like our typical day to be. And this is a poem, Do the Next Thing. Uh, just do a search on that on the internet, and you can find it. So I, I love this poem. And these are my daily chores, my daily homemaking chores, cleaning, etc. Uh, these are my children's daily cleaning chores. These are my children's uh, assigned table chores to help clean up after each meal. Uh, these are my uh, deep cleaning and, and projects for around the house list. This is my master grocery list. This is my current menu for the week, breakfast, lunches, and suppers I'm making. This is breakfast and lunch ideas. Supper ideas, fruit and vegetable side ideas. And then we get into my recipes for the rest of the homemaking section. Next, we come to my home school section. And this is uh, it's kind of small. I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of room for the rings. This is our current curriculum chart, what we're working on. This is our current home school schedule. Um, you know, what I'm doing, what they're doing in regard, regarding homeschool, some of the school we do during breakfast, and then we have a breakfast homeschool meeting, uh, what the children work on when I'm exercising, um, some of the homeschool we do during lunch, their afternoon homeschool, some schooling that we do during supper, and then some evening homeschool with their dad. And then this is the main focus on what we're currently working on in school. Their current copywork assignments, current reading lists, and then some note paper to put in any notes. So my next section is budget. So this is a top loading pocket page that I made with some vellum paper and my laminator. I have it anonymized right now because I actually just got a bill in the mail today. So the second I get a bill in the mail, I record it on my budget pages behind this, and then it goes in here until it's time to pay it. So. I'm going to flip past my budget pages to a blank one. <clears throat> this is bow bunny paper I got from Hobby Lobby. I just trimmed it down. Um, it had three hole punches. I just added more so that it fits seven rings and popped it in. And this is great paper for using for budgeting. Okay, and then next divider is notes. So I got the planner helps and hints from uh, Franklin Covey. I got my health tracker. Ah, I can't get the page. All right, and then after that, there it is, my table of contents of what I'm keeping in my notes section. I got a sub tab here, directions of places I have trouble getting to. I have another sub tab here of some uh, current notes and projects I'm working on, along with a big note and project I am working on, and then more blank paper. And then my last main divider is plans. So I got the uh, year at a glance for the years 2016 to 2021. Um, this is my 2017 index, which is anonymized because I have a lot written in here now. All right, and then this is my month on two page calendar, which is anonymized, so it's hard for you to see what one looks like. Uh, I do major forward planning, so June has only got a sticky note on it. So this is what a fairly blank uh, month on two pages looks like, okay? I just have a little sticky note on there for uh, planning the next year's homeschool. That's all I got in June for right now. So, all right. Um, and then, after that, we have uh, the personal and business tasks lists for the month of January. And then we got another 2017 index. So, of course, I got that anonymized. And then, flipping to today, I got day on two pages. Over here is where I put my to-dos. Over here is where I put my appointments or timed things. All right, so I got part of that anonymized. I got a cute little uh, recollection sticker I stuck right there. It says, think happy thoughts. 
All right, and this is my Franklin Covey page finder, my master to-do list, which pops in and out of the rings, gets moved day to day. My second page, my notes page, I got a cute sticker here, and then I got a cute sticker right here, recollections stickers. All right, so moving past all of my calendar goodies, and then I have just a daytime and notes page where I wrote future planning 2018. And right now I only have one thing in there, but it is personal, so I have it anonymized. I got my back page lifter. And then back here in the back pocket, I got some extra paper clips that are sometimes in use. Right now they're not. I got some tabs. I got some uh, arrows slash flags. Got some recollection stickers. I got some papers I like to keep and then I got some uh, more blank bow bunny paper to use. The current main pen I'm writing with is my uh, pink ink joy and then of course I got my double tipped sharpie up in the front for writing on labels etc. So that just gives you you know a general tour of my Giada. I've been enjoying my Giada uh, most of this month. I moved from my Boston to my Giada as soon as I got it uh, but I have some goodies coming in from Franklin Covey next week, so I might be trying out another binder for a while, and uh, if so, I will keep you posted, and either way, I will show you the goodies that I have coming from Franklin Covey when they arrive.